The 6.8 Western versus the 6.5 Creedmoor. Dave and I are talking about two long-range hunting rounds today on the Ammunition Guys podcast. Hello, friends and lovers. This is Dave Trillo, and you're listening to the Ammunition Guide podcast brought to you by none other than ammo.com. Chris, today we're going to compare two long distance rounds, a 6.5 Creedmoor and a 6.8 Western. Now, of course, the Creedmoor has already got a huge following, uh, massive in light of how relatively recently it's been introduced. Oh, yeah. The 6.8 Western is more of a newcomer to the shooting world. Dave, you're absolutely right. And uh, if you need ammo for either of these cartridges, make sure you click that link down in the description and the pinned comment. Get your free $20 off coupon here at ammo.com. And while you're down there, make sure you click that like and subscribe button. Do the youtube stuff for us to help us grow the channel so we can get more shooters here to be part of our ever-growing community. So the 6.5 Creedmoor was made basically from a gripe session at Camp Perry during the long-range matches there, during the national matches, between the Hornady senior ballistician at the time, Dave Emery, and the decorated long-distance mark- marksman, Dennis DeMille. Now, DeMille uh, was using a Wildcat cartridge at the time. They were having a whole lot of problems with it, and... DeMille came to Emory and basically was threatening to leave. He was upset. He didn't want to shoot anymore. And he basically said, okay, if you could make the ideal long-range cartridge, what would it have? And he basically made his bar napkin list, handed it over. A couple months later, the 6.5 Creedmoor is here. That being said, the 6.8 Western, completely different concept. We're looking at long-range hunting here. That is what this cartridge was built for. It was built for a high muzzle velocity, high ballistic coefficient, and the ability to take down big game at range, whereas the 6.5 Creedmoor was made more for shooting sports and has basically been press-ganged into hunting because everybody likes it so much. It's the match round that became a hunting round versus the hunting round that probably only ever will be a hunting round. It's interesting that you mentioned that, Dave. We were talking a little bit off camera. I was like, can you use a 6.8 Western to shoot long-range matches? Yes, you can. There is match ammunition for it, but I don't recall the last competitor that I've seen with a 6.8 Western rifle. But for the most part, you're going to see those long-range matches dominated by 300 Win Mags, 26 Nosler, 28 Nosler, and 6.5 Creedmoor rounds. we got to just kind of kick this off by saying 6.8 Western, much longer effective range. Oh, yeah. Uh, That is a very good way to put it, Dave, especially when we're talking about large game animals. This thing can hold its muzzle velocity and muzzle energy quite a ways downrange, more so than the Creedmoor. Now, a lot of people talk about the efficacy of using a 6.5 Creedmoor for elk, whether you should or shouldn't do it. It has the muzzle energy. I'll just put it out there. It has the capability if the shot placement is correct. That being said, a 6.8 Western is going to be a better choice for something like that, especially if you're shooting out out west where you've got a lot of open spaces uh, where you maybe need that take that longer shot. 6.8 Western is going to be the better choice because it has a good 50% more case capacity than the 6.5 Creedmoor. For the 6.5 Creedmoor, it's it's really become one of the whitetail cartridges. Oh, and, yeah. And... Uh, I mean, you probably wouldn't want to bother with a whitetail, the 6.8 Western, if it was within 500 yards of you. I have to agree with you on that one, Dave. You can definitely use a 6.8 Western for, you know, close to range shots, but it's kind of a bit much, in my opinion, especially on a whitetail like you mentioned. Yeah. Not to say that you can't do it, but maybe it's not the best choice. That being said, it's a very, very powerful round that can really reach out there and touch something if you have the skills to do it. Yeah, 6.8 Western would also be uh, better equipped for safari hunting, so long as you're not going after the big five. I have to agree with you on that one too, Dave. Of course, the .277 bullet, incredibly popular for safari hunters, mostly made popular by the outdoor life writer Jack O'Connor back in the day who really popularized the two seventy Winchester. But let me tell you, this 6.8 Western takes the two seven seven to a new level. Uh, it definitely has the power for, you know, kudu, gazelle, impala, things like that. Probably more than enough. Not going to take it elephant hunting. Probably not water buffalo or cape buffalo either. But uh, for those mid-sized game there in Africa, 
can definitely do it and it'll give you a longer effective range, which can help when you're out on the Serengeti in the plains. But Chris, right away, I mean, the more powerful round, it's going to kick you harder in return. Oh, and you're not kidding on that one, Dave. Typically for a 6.5 Creedmoor, you're probably looking something around the 15 foot pounds of free recoil energy back into your shoulder. You're looking about 30 for a 6.8 Western. So that's quite a bit of difference. And you're going to feel that. And like we like to talk about, that 6.5 Creedmoor is right on that hairy edge of being comfortable to shoot all day. The 6.8 Western, you're going to have to pace yourself because that's going to thump your shoulder quite a bit. Yeah, yeah, you're not you're not pulling off the bap 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 follow up shots with the six point eight western. That's for sure. But the truth be told, if you can put your bullets on target, you shouldn't need follow up shots with a six eight western because of all that extra kinetic energy that it can pack on with all that added powder. So it's really a, a trade off between the two. You're going to have your lighter recoil, more comfortable to shoot with a six five Creedmoor, whereas you're going to have more power. A bit flatter trajectory with the 6.8 Western, but it's going to punish your shoulder quite a bit more. So, Chris, long range. I mean, let's really compare these two. Let's dig in. I think up to 500 yards is really no advantage to one or the other if you're just speaking in terms of uh, trajectory, flatness, and accuracy. About 44 inches of bullet drop for a 6.5 Creedmoor at 500 yards versus about 38 inches for the 6.8 Western. Now, where these rounds really start to separate each other is when you go out past further than 500. But if you want to have the flatter shooting cartridge, the 6.8 Western is the way to go. Like you said, that two inches difference in, in, in trajectory rise, I mean, that's that's so small that it's really, if you're going within 500 yards, not not worth going for the bigger and more expensive cartridge. Yeah, and that's something that I think we should hit on here is the difference in price and availability between these two because it is absolutely night and day. The 6.5 Creedmoor is probably one of the more successful recent cartridge introductions in my opinion as far as getting out there and getting other manufacturers to make your ammo. The 6.8 Western was made as a joint effort between Winchester and Browning and well they're the only two companies that currently make ammo for it which means that your 6.5 Creedmoor ammo going to be a lot less expensive and you're going to have a lot more options available whereas with the 6.8 western it's hard to find ammo for this one and there's been talk that the military is even looking at picking up the 6.5 creedmoor upgrading their 300 wind mag rifles to that as their snipers were seeing about double the hit percentage at a thousand yards with the creedmoor over a 300 wind mag so outside of ammo availability, naturally 6.5 Creedmoor rifles are going to be easier to find. One of the they advantages are. is it's, uh, it's going to be compatible with everyone's favorite AR-15 platform. Yeah, it's actually an AR-10. So that is one distinction to make between the two. Since the 6.5 Creedmoor it has that, you know, that longer action, not that miniature action that's used on an AR-15, you are going to have to upgrade to an AR-10. That being said, you have the option to have a semi-audible capable AR-10 platform in a 6.5 Creedmoor. Whereas uh, 6.8 Western, you pretty much are going to see like a Winchester Model 70 and a Browning X-Bolt, and that's about it. Gosh, what, what would our recommendation be? We always do these uh, such dissimilar cartridges. Really has to do with how far you want to go. It does. It, it depends a lot on your capabilities and what you want to do with your rifle. We talk about, you know, maybe this round is too much for this or too little for that, and it's not really the best way to look at it. Both of these cartridges have their own specific areas where they excel at. Like you talked about earlier, the 6.5 Creedmoor has become ubiquitous with deer hunting. Everybody's using it for deer hunting. There are a ridiculous amount of number of bullets out for it. And even elk hunting within appropriate ranges, the 6.5 Creedmoor can do the job. Where the 6.8 Western really shines is that longer range hunting. That's what the 6.8 Western was made for. It was made for those long range shots where a 6.5 Creedmoor, although you can get the bullets on target, don't have the kinetic energy to ethically harvest an animal. The 6.8 Western excels in that area. It is very efficient, has a very efficient bullet design that can hit hard at distance and is great for those long range shots, typically on things maybe even like mountain goats, elk at long range, uh, deer at even longer range, if you can hit targets at that distance. Well, I'm going to stick to the 6.5 Creedmoor. Me too, Dave. Honestly, the 6.5 Creedmoor is more than enough for my needs here in Indiana. I'm not going to be taking 500-yard shots on elk. Uh, you know, it's pretty much whitetail here. But maybe in your area where 
you need to be hunting. You need something bigger. You need something more powerful, and that 6.8 Western will do it for you. But regardless, no matter which cartridge you choose, make sure you get all of your ammo here at ammo.com. Click that link in the description, and we'll see you out on the range.